Thank you, Mr. Chairman. St. Louis and I are here today to discuss the real economic situation of the people of this country. From gas prices to food, the cost of living is rising. New census data indicates that real incomes fell significantly in 2022 as inflation reduced the size of our constituents' paychecks. We know there are investments that the federal government can make to reduce poverty. The Republican Party's inability to govern has us rapidly moving toward a government, a total government shutdown. This will disrupt important benefits and services for all of our constituents, such as food and cash assistance. Too many people around this country, across this country, are struggling to make ends meet. A government shutdown would affect more than 42 million people who receive SNAP benefits, nearly 3 million people who receive TANF benefits, and over 6 million participants who receive WIC benefits. Congress pulled together in a crisis to provide COVID relief, this emergency relief that people needed. My vision of a progressive economy led by the Biden administration must include Medicare for all, must include raising the federal minimum wage, ensuring housing affordability, reinstating the child tax credit, and canceling student debt. That's my vision. During the pandemic, we made direct payments to families through the child tax credit and provided student debt relief by freezing interest and payments. We still need to do more now. These two concrete examples show Congress can ease the effects of economic hardship and boost the economy overall. When it was in place, the child tax credit lifted nearly 4 million children from poverty, causing child poverty to hit a historic low of 5.2%. The expanded child tax credit slashed child poverty, infused local, local economies with billions of dollars and reduced food insecurity by nearly one third. In Missouri alone, the child tax credit lifted 73,000 children out of poverty. Without the child tax credit, child poverty in the United States has more than doubled in just one year. Since its expiration, nearly 3.7 million children have fallen back into poverty, including the impacted children of Missouri. Millions of people in this country are buried in burdensome debt to make ends meet. Medical, credit card, and student debt. Student debt payments will resume soon after numerous payment pauses extended by the Biden administration through temporary relief. Though that temporary relief has helped many, we need much more and we must cancel student debt. The federal student loan portfolio currently totals more than $2 trillion owed by over 40 million borrowers. Black people carry the heaviest debt burden, meaning student debt Say it again, student debt relief is a racial and an economic justice issue. As lawmakers, we must ensure education leads to prosperity, education leads to opportunity, rather than inescapable debt. While my Republican colleagues are slashing programs that help keep kids out of poverty and fighting against student debt relief every step of the way, we have an over $880 billion defense package moving forward. The money is there. The question is how we as elected officials choose to invest in our communities. The money is there. We can deliver for our constituents and help them out to not only survive, but to prosper. Republicans are trying to distract us from the internal dysfunction which is steering our nation toward a government shutdown. The question is, do we choose to invest in defense contractors or reduce poverty for millions of people? Thank you, and I yield back.